Alright, let's try this again with a proper chicken stick. It's on. It's got a very angry buzz to it. <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong with it, it just likes to take out weak circuit breakers. That's definitely more than 5 kV. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot more than 5 kV. <laughs> I'll have to ask the guys at work and see if this really is from an RF welder. More like an RF transmitter or something. I don't know what they'd use this sort of power for. Not plastic welding. I'm pulling that out to about 14 inches long. 16 inches. Yeah, that's about 14 inches of arc. Whoop, there goes the breaker. I don't think I've tortured it enough. Yeah, that's some obscene power. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm going to do with that. That's like a weapon of mass destruction. Very dangerous. Don't try that shit at home when you get one, kids. That's just really dangerous. It is grounded. The table's externally grounded as well as the bottom of the transformer. But... Yeah, just don't muck around with this shit unless you know what you're doing. I started out with flybacks when I was a little little kitty. I was just playing around with TV transformers and things. I've been zapped before, I've been burnt before. I've burnt holes in my fingers with flybacks and even had a neon sign transformer kick me once before. And you learn pretty quick when that happens. It's not fun. This sort of shit you don't get a second chance with. The guy who gave them to me said that he was working with a guy at another company for a while and then left. He went back to that company to buy some RF welding gear, probably tubes or transformers or something, and asked about the guy he was working with. And they said he doesn't work there anymore. He said, oh, he got the, he got the sack for being dangerous. No, he killed himself on an RF welder. That's how unsafe these things are. You fuck around with them, they will kill you. And that's what happened to this guy's co-worker. He fried himself. So, yeah. It's a, it's a low-frequency microwave, is what an RF welder is. Uh, the radiation isn't high enough frequency to travel through air, but it cascades off metallic surfaces. And that's what I want to build. I want to build something with two plates that come together, and whatever's caught between them ends up with radio-frequency electromagnetic radiation cascading across it and cooking it. So it's essentially a contact microwave. There's no travelling through air. It's safe to have in an open area, but not safe to touch. And, yeah, this is the heart of it. Well, sort of. You do need vacuum tubes. You need a vacuum rectifier and a vacuum capacitor. A few RF blockers. Other little bits and pieces, which I'll get from work. Uh, won't cost me too much. Probably a couple of slabs of beer. But, yeah, stay tuned for more on this one. That's quite a entertaining little toy. Okay, well just after I made that last clip, the idiot light went off inside my head and said it's not so much volts that's making that arc, it's amps. Volts makes a really nice high tension cracking arc, like off an x-ray transformer. But it's the amps that make that nice hot, smooth, growling arc. So that could still be a 5 or 6 kV transformer. I believe it's about 8, but I think RF welders operate around the 5 to 6 kV mark. But the amount of amperage that's coming out of that, even if it's less than an amp, it's still more than enough to pull a 16 inch arc off it. So that's some serious power. And one of the next videos I'll go into is photocopiers. I've got tons of them floating around. I've got to do a bit of repair work on this old DI450, so stay tuned for some more electronic stuff. Even though I'm actually a fabricator and fitter and turner by trade, 
I love my electronics and high voltage. It's always good fun. <laughs>